Will Dell anti-China move pay off? Yo, what's up tech enthusiasts, geopolitics junkies and everyone in between? Welcome back to another thrilling episode where we dive deep into the intersection of technology and global affairs. Welcome to the show where we break down the biggest tech news with a side of global intrigue. Today we've got a story that's not just making headlines but is also set to reshape the tech industry as we know it. Today we're diving headfirst into a story that's sending shockwaves through the tech world. Dell's bold move to phase out China made chips by 2024. This isn't just a minor adjustment, it's a strategic pivot that could redefine supply chains and manufacturing norms. That's right, you heard it here first, folks. Dell, the titan of PCs and servers, is making a major play to diversify its supply chain and reduce its reliance on China for those tiny but mighty semiconductors that power our digital lives. Imagine the complexity and the scale of this operation. We're talking about reconfiguring entire production lines, establishing new partnerships and ensuring quality and performance standards are met. This is huge, people. It's like Apple suddenly deciding to ditch Foxconn and start assembling iPhones in their Cupertino headquarters. The logistics, the costs, the potential for disruption, it's a monumental task. But why is Dell doing this? What are the driving forces behind such a radical decision? We're talking about a seismic shift in the tech landscape, one with far-reaching implications for the global economy, international relations, and even the future of innovation itself. The geopolitical tensions, trade wars and the quest for technological sovereignty are all playing a part in this narrative. Companies are increasingly looking to mitigate risks and ensure a more resilient supply chain, so buckle up, grab your thinking caps and get ready for a wild ride as we unpack Dell's audacious gamble, explore the forces at play and try to predict what this means for the future of tech. We'll delve into the potential winners and losers in this scenario, the ripple effects across different sectors and how other tech giants might respond. Let's go. Welcome to Revo, now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. It's your boy Revo now, back at it again with another piping hot take on the tech world's latest drama. Buckle up because today's topic is going to shake things up in a big way. Today we're focusing on Dell's bombshell announcement. They're ditching China-made chips. Yes, you heard that right. Dell, one of the giants in the tech industry, is making a monumental shift in their supply chain strategy. This isn't just another headline, my friends. This is a tectonic shift in the making. Imagine the ground beneath your feet moving. That's how significant this change is for the tech world. We're talking about a company that's synonymous with personal computing, a global behemoth that relies heavily on a complex web of suppliers and manufacturers primarily concentrated in China. For years, Dell has been a cornerstone in the tech industry, providing reliable and innovative products. But now, Dell's saying peace out to that model, at least when it comes to the brains of their machines. They're looking to diversify their supply chain, which could mean sourcing chips from other countries or even ramping up domestic production. This is a huge deal for Dell, for the tech industry, and for anyone who uses a computer, which is basically everyone these days. Think about it. How many of us rely on our laptops and desktops for work, entertainment, and staying connected? It's a story about globalization, supply chains, national security, and the future of technology itself. The implications are vast, affecting everything from international trade relations to the security of our personal data. So let's break it down, shall we? We'll dive into why Dell is making this move, what it means for the tech industry, and how it could impact you, the consumer. Stay tuned, because this is one story you won't want to miss. For decades, China has been the undisputed king of electronics manufacturing. Cheap labor, lax regulations, and a business-friendly. Environment made it the go-to destination for tech giants to set up shop and churn out gadgets at breakneck speed. Remember those made-in-China stickers we used to see on everything? Yeah, that wasn't an accident. 
China became the world's factory floor and tech companies, including Dell, flocked there to take advantage of the low costs and efficient production. But the winds of change are blowing, my friends. Rising labor costs, trade tensions, and a growing awareness of the risks associated with concentrating manufacturing in a single country have prompted companies to rethink their strategies. Enter Dell, stage left, with a daring move that sent ripples through the tech world. By phasing out China-made chips, Dell is essentially calling China's bluff. They're saying, we're not putting all our eggs in your basket anymore, this is a high-stakes gamble, no doubt. China is still a manufacturing powerhouse and cutting ties with Chinese suppliers could disrupt Dell's supply chain, increase costs and potentially hurt their bottom line, but it's also a calculated risk. By diversifying their suppliers and reducing their reliance on China, Dell is hedging their bets against geopolitical uncertainty, trade wars and potential disruptions to the Chinese economy. The China factor more than meets the eye now let's talk about the elephant in the room, China. This move by Dell isn't happening in a vacuum. It's part of a larger trend of companies, particularly in the tech sector, re-evaluating their relationship with China. The trade war between the US and China, initiated by the Trump administration and continuing under Biden, has undoubtedly played a role. Tariffs and sanctions have made it more expensive for companies like Dell to import Chinese-made components. But it goes beyond just economics. There are growing concerns about intellectual property theft, forced technology transfers, and the close relationship between Chinese tech companies and the Chinese government, which are all mere allegations without any facts. Supply chains, the unsung heroes and villains, this whole saga highlights the often overlooked but critically important role of supply chains in the tech industry. From the raw materials sourced from different parts of the world to the final assembly of products, every step is meticulously planned and executed. We often take for granted the intricate network of factories, suppliers and logistics companies that bring our beloved gadgets to life. These networks span across continents involving countless individuals and organizations working in harmony to ensure that products reach consumers on time. But as Dell's move demonstrates, supply chains are not just about efficiency and cost effectiveness. They are also about strategic planning and foresight. Companies like Dell invest heavily in building robust supply chains that can withstand various challenges and disruptions. They're also about resilience, risk management, and even national security. Ensuring the uh, continuity of supply chains is crucial for maintaining the stability of economies and the well-being of societies. When one link in the chain is disrupted, whether it's a natural disaster, a pandemic, or a geopolitical crisis, the entire system can grind to a halt. The ripple effects can be felt across industries, leading to shortages, delays and increased costs. Let's look at the global chip shortage that crippled the auto industry and delayed the release of countless electronic devices. This shortage highlighted the vulnerabilities in our supply chains and underscored the need for greater investment in supply chain resilience and innovation. Winners and losers who benefits. So who stands to gain from Dell's decision and who might be left behind? It's a complex question with no easy answers. On the one hand, Dell's move could benefit other countries vying for a piece of the global electronics manufacturing pie. Countries like Vietnam, India and Mexico, which already established manufacturing bases and are actively courting foreign investment, could see an influx of new business as companies seek alternatives to China. On the other hand, Chinese manufacturers that have come to rely on orders from companies like Dell could face job losses, but they can still easily move on with newer companies willing to work with China. And China itself could see its dominance in the tech manufacturing sector challenged. The future of tech made in China? Dell's move begs the question, where will our gadgets be made in the future? Will we see a more geographically diverse and resilient tech manufacturing landscape, or will China maintain its grip on the industry? It's too early to say for sure, but one thing is clear. China is almost becoming self-sufficient in domestic chip manufacturing. Companies are realizing the importance of diversification, both for economic and geopolitical reasons. And as technology continues to evolve at a rapid pace, we can expect to see even more innovation in manufacturing processes and supply chain management. The bigger picture. Geopolitics and your gadgets, this story isn't just about Dell or even just about tech. It's a microcosm of the larger geopolitical forces reshaping our world. 
Globalization, once seen as an unstoppable force, is being challenged by rising nationalism, protectionism and great power competition. The US and China, the world's two largest economies, are locked in a battle for technological supremacy and their rivalry is spilling over into trade, investment and even military affairs. This new era of geopolitics is having a profound impact on the tech industry, forcing companies to navigate a complex web of political risks, economic incentives and national security concerns. So what's next? Dell's decision to ditch China-made chips is just the tip of the iceberg. We can expect to see more companies follow suit, diversifying their supply chains and reducing their reliance on China. This could lead to a more fragmented but potentially more resilient global tech ecosystem. But China is ready for what's coming, is the US and the West ready? But it also raises important questions about the future of globalization, the role of government in the tech industry, and the delicate balance between economic interdependence and national security. Some things for sure, the tech world is changing, and the stakes have never been higher. Let's keep the conversation going. That's it for today's show, folks. What do you think of Dell's bold move? Is it a smart business decision, a sign of things to come, or something else entirely? Hit me up in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. And while you're at it, tell me what other tech stories you want me to cover. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and stay woke. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.